I'm going to have that for just a minute. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. Thank you so much for being here. Saying hi, Chai Pai. Hi. So today we should hopefully have a really nice vlog for you. We're getting well and truly back into the house content and we are starting to tackle the living room transformation. Um, we're gonna be coving in here. We obviously started, but Brad did the chimney breast. Um, but we need to put coving up. We need to do the skirting board. We're gonna be picking paint colors, maybe start painting, getting it all prepped. You can help me choose a unit. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm torn between two units that are really like sideboards that I like for here. Um, we measured it out earlier. There's two, one slightly wider, one slightly taller, not by much, but I can't decide which one I want. So we measured it out earlier um, with tape to see what the sizing looks like. And really there's not much in it. So we just can't decide which one. So um, you can help me decide which one of them to pick actually, to be fair, because I feel like I need some opinions. Nice ones though. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be tackling the living room. We're gonna be just doing things in the house, getting things moving again with the house content because I'm desperate for downstairs to basically be somewhat finished. Well, I feel like nothing's ever truly finished, is it? Because you do something and then you move on to another room and then eventually by the time that comes, you wanna change something else. I want it to be like a timeless, like decorated timelessly and then we can just change things like prints like i'm going to order some prints um for in here and some photos just getting it literally looking i want it neutrals i don't i'm torn between these two personality traits of mine where i want to be really funky and colorful but then i also want to be neutral and probably a bit boring but just like a calm zen environment um and sometimes the two don't mix that well because for example i paint we painted the kitchen green and i love the color green oh the sun's beautiful i painted it green um it looks beautiful and i love the color guys it's just not giving me the vibes i were going for that i envisioned so we're going to be painting the kitchen after we finish this room we're moving back onto the kitchen because i want some paneling in there and literally <laughs> This is this is the problem with being indecisive. Brad loves it, don't you? <laughs> Brad's there, by the way. Maybe he's just sat in the background. Um, but yeah, so we've got a nice vlog, though, haven't we, coming today? Yeah. Getting some house stuff. So we are just going to be tackling the living room first and then moving on to the kitchen. And then we're going to start fixing as well um, the doorway chai chewed. yes because you although he's been really good just recently and he doesn't he's not a chewer very much anymore are you he's more of a watcher he likes to watch out the living room window that's we've been letting him just live downstairs um, when we go to work and stuff and it seems to be working um he just likes to look out the window other than the fact that i get slather on my window i'd rather that than something be chewed although he did chew Guys, it's took me a while to come round to tell you this because it upset me. You know the baby gate that we worked on for ages? He chewed it. He chewed it. Luckily, just the inside bit, not the outside bit. So we need to replace that. There's me. He doesn't chew anymore. He did it. He... That was a one-off, I think, and he was. It, I went in overtime, and Brad had gone out to golf, um, and I think he, he was out of his routine. Oh. Brad thinks his bone was upstairs. No, I know his bone. Well, it, yeah, his bone when was I upstairs. Got, when I got out, all he wants to do was go upstairs. So. And his bone. His, Brad thinks because he wants his bone. Literally ran upstairs into my bedroom and come down with his bone. So that's why Brad thinks he did that. Um, but either way, it needs to be fixed, but. We're gonna just tackle the living room for now and then perhaps do the baby gate and then move on to the kitchen just because I don't feel like either of us can bear <laughs> the thought of fixing it because 
it took bloody ages to do. So, thanks for that chai, keeping us on our toes. But other than that, he actually has been brilliant with the no chewing. He's been having no accidents. We, I think, I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, been a really good boy. He's a big boy. But yeah, so if you wanna follow along and see what we get up to and what we start in the living room and how it ends up, if you wanna see how we built the chimney breast, I'll link that video down below. Um, Brad did it out of metal and board. It was a good watch, quite interesting if that's something you wanna do. Um, but yeah, I'll link that down below. But if you aren't already, please do subscribe because it really supports me. Um, and if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's bridie.tinklin, where you can see me and chai spam, and occasionally a bit of Brad spam, depending on how I'm feeling, if I'm feeling nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, right, we're going to go to B&Q, and we're going to look for paint colours. I might get a couple of sample colours, and then um, we're going to get the coven. And we're gonna we're gonna just we're gonna make a start, guys. We're gonna make a start because I really want the living room and the kitchen to be semi how we want it for Christmas. And I know that's ages away. You're probably thinking you've got ages. We haven't really, have we? It's July. Time flies, doesn't it? So going on. He's watching golf. As per usual, has any of you girls or women lost your partners to golf? I am a golf widow. It's all he thinks about. It's all he wants to buy. It's all he watches. All I hear when he's on his phone is about golf. And then there's some YouTube videos about golf. Everything's golf, isn't it? Better than looking up the girls. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'd rather you watch loads of golf than me too. Porn. I know. I mean, like. Oh, I thought he was on about no, porn. No, no, I just said porn. <laughs> no. I mean, if you want to watch porn, it's fine. But just. Oh no, I definitely prefer watching. I'd porn. rather you watch golf. <laughs> I forgot to say as well, yesterday we had a delivery. So I'll put that footage in now and then I'll go and show you what it looks like in natural light. There we go. <gasps> it's here. The mirror's here. The long awaited mirror that we've ordered for the hallway. Um, it came today. And I'm so happy. I'm so excited to have the mirror out. So we bought it from... Um, William Wood mirrors and it I ordered it on Tuesday babe or Monday Tuesday or Wednesday yeah, Tuesday it would have been Tuesday and it took like it said it could take two to seven days to come and it, it's it's Friday right now so um but we're gonna get it out so we went for the frameless arched edge that's what it's called edged arched that's what it says on the box and it's the 180 times 80 centimetres, so it's 80 centimetres wide. I was undecided whether to go to the 8 centimetres one or the one bigger, but we decided to go for this one just because it's going to live on, like, a slant in the hallway upstairs, the landing. So we thought if we go bigger, it might look too much. And it's still a good size mirror, 80 centimetre wide is. So that's what we went for, but I can't wait to see what it looks like. Touch wood, it's all in one piece. Round. Yeah, baby. Oh my gosh, look, it's me. <laughs> so far, looking good. I'm literally thinking we could have gone bigger. No, it's massive. Do you think? Yeah. Good size, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's get it upstairs. I envisioned it anyway, but it does fit 
that way as well. Just. Yeah. Um, Looks silly. Yeah, I prefer it the other way, don't you? Obviously, it'd be on the wall if it was like that, though. Yeah, I would say on an equal angle because we did think we could put it on that wall just there, um, but it doesn't look as good on. We're just trying to figure out how we can make it safe though, because obviously I'm just thinking we don't want it ever falling. And if it's straight up, it could. We're gonna have to lie it back a bit more. Woohoo! Ignore our bedroom. The bed is not made. But yeah, this plan. God, I can't speak. This plan isn't gonna live there. Um, because that's from the bedroom and I actually quite like it in the bedroom but um, I love this mirror it's so cute beautiful I'm so happy with it and I feel like it reflects light so final touches in in the hallway or landing as I should I say I want a few I think I want four pictures there and then I have just ordered um, these light what are they called? Not light bulbs. Shades. Lamp shades. I've ordered some lamp shades too, just the same. Because obviously it's a bit in a weird position. With it being there and there. Like usually you'd think they'd just be one. Um so I wanted them to match because otherwise I'd think it would just look a bit odd if there was two different ones. I'm gonna sneeze. So I've ordered lamp shades. I got them from Dunelm. Um so they should be coming one day next week. So of course I'll show you what they look like when they come. Um, hopefully they're in one piece and they look nice and um, so I've ordered them and then the hallway then and landing other than possibly in the future getting a blind I mean we don't necessarily need a blind it's not because of privacy it's more so just to dress the window a little bit maybe um maybe like a roller blind or like um one of them material ones do you know what I mean something like that and then obviously in the last video ignore the bed because I've just thrown a towel on there um, you would have seen that this is now upstairs. I think that looks really nice. It's so much better actually now. Uh, but the kitchen is just a little bit bare now. So I want to find like a nice storage unit. Something that can go there that fits better. That didn't, I didn't love how that looked in the kitchen. So, but I think it looks nicer here. <laughs> wow, it's so handsome. Yeah, booty for Chaggy. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's like, no more, no more, guys. <laughs> in terms of garden, we've got all of the stones in now. And um, we just need to put the fancy stones in this area um, and then not nice new topsoil and then grass and that should be coming next week hopefully and then we can put the stones in and hopefully then we'll have grass and it won't flood and it will look nice and i can because the floor just keeps getting so dusty because of this um so i'm looking forward to having grass fingers crossed it all comes together but yeah that, that's garden updates so far i can't wait we're going to get some garden furniture you know, like a table and stuff just gonna jazz up the garden a little bit and make it look lovely, um, but yeah. We're in Wix and we've just got some um, plain. We're not, we're not gonna have the same as what we've got in the hallway. We're gonna go for something different. Um, it's just a plain, but it's still just as wide. Um, and then we're just looking for some adhesive, some um, corking things, and then also some carpet protector for the living room for when we paint. Yeah, and then put it in the middle one. Yeah, that's quite nice too. That so, does look beigey in a yeah, natural light. We're just struggling to find. These are all very they're very pinky, all of them. So we're trying to find the ones we've narrowed it down to, the four, are puff pastry, speckled egg, fuzzy scruff, and ga gallad drill. Um, so we should we get a test box in them? Yeah. Put them on the wall and see what we think. Yeah. We've got the goods, but with lots of tester pots because I am missing decisive and we want to get a good feel for it before we put it on the wall like the green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We're back from B&Q and then we also called in at this fish place because Brad wanted a couple new fish, fish, fish tank. Oh my God, I could not speak then. First fish tank. God, that was it. Lots of fish. 
Um, so I thought I'd just show you what we got from B&Q on a bit of a DIY haul, if you want to see it, um, just to plan what we're doing. So we got some new paintbrushes, some roller heads, some new rollers, some carpet protector, some adhesive to stick the coving with, the which is on the stairs. That's his handiwork, by the way. Anyway, some adhesive. Then we got some white paint, some tape. We also got this, which is a corker, but we thought if we hold it whilst we're painting, maybe we don't have to put tape. We're gonna see how it works anyway. So what, it's a corker? That's what it's called, a corker. It's just a corking knife, isn't it? Just... For filling, jointing, and creating smooth finishes. Hmm. Um, and then we got a new hose pipe and wall mounted one, um, which is a beautiful sage green colour, which I'm really excited for. And then we also got this piece of wood because we just need to rectify something on the bench in the kitchen because it's a little bit wobbly. Then Brad got some new work boots, we got some cork, and then these pieces of wood, this style, are going to go in here once we've decorated, obviously. Um, and then we've got a paint pot with some refills and then we got some testers because i want to see what we're working with but firstly what we're going to do is we are going to put everything in its place we're going to put the sofas in the middle of the living room we're going to cover them we're going to put um that protect carpet protector all the way down across the room and we're just going to get it empty and ready to work on so that it's a blank canvas, it's a clean blank canvas, and we're not going to ruin anything. We can just get to work, hey babes? Mm. Going to be, be good. Chad's got loads of new balls, so he's very happy. He's very happy, aren't you? You've got six new balls. Spoil. Daddy spoiled you, didn't he? Three for four. Four for three, so pet shop. So he spoiled him. Yeah. what they're looking like right now that's definitely a nail um my favorite so far is palest satin and biscuit crumbs although that's showing up really dark on camera um but this one's still they're still definitely wet look so i'm just gonna let them dry and i've also painted them across here so we can get a vibe of what it looks like in each part of the room um maybe we won't go for any of these colors i really don't know but right now brad has started the coven so he's working his magic and doing all of this we don't we went for this one in the end just a plane but still wide so it's just as wide as the hallway one but it's not got any detail to it um, because it worked out, worked out to how much was it for, how much, Brad? I think it was £120 for 8 metres. £120 for 8 metres in the one that we got in the hallway. Or this was £36 for 18 metres. Or this was £36 for 18 metres. So we were getting a lot more for our money. Um, so we was like, you know what, for the little divots that's on it, Let's just get the plane. It'll add that like touch that I want anyway. Um, and then that gives us a bit of money to spend elsewhere. 
So that's our plan right now. Puff pastry is perfect. Do you know what I think? Like it's not in your face, it's not too much, but that's like the perfect baby pink. If you're having a baby girl, or just you've got a daughter, or you just want a pink room, but don't want it to be like actually bright pink, have puff pastry from Valspa. That's such a beautiful, subtle pink that I, I love that colour, but it's just not right for the, the vibe we're going for. I don't actually like any of the colours for in here, if I'm completely honest. we're gonna do four is that what you're gonna do chai keep trumping okay i need a uh, hammer hammer and tacks on the tape maybe three just mm, we've got our water back Yeah. Well, we could have paid a lot more money, babe, for a tub of paint. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario. Because I'm glad we've got them, because I think, you know, if we ever have a baby girl. When we have a baby girl. When we have a baby girl. Yeah. That puff pastry is perfect. Literally, perfect colour. Good morning. No, actually, it's afternoon now. Good afternoon. It's the next day. We're just sat having a coffee. And I thought I'd show you where we got up to. So Brad literally did. Oh, God, I look so freckly. Or is this... Why do I look like I've got sun damage to all of my skin? Brad, look at my, look at my face. Do I look just freckly or sun damaged? Yeah, Oh, no. I need to look after my skin better. I'm 27 now. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> the elasticity in my skin is disappearing as I speak. Anyway, I'm gonna put some moisturizer on, even though I already have. I'm gonna put some more on. Um, yeah, we can make pistachio cream, that'd be cool. Anyway. I thought I'd show you. Brad finished all of the coving yesterday, literally. So it just needs corking. Forget that word every time. Just needs corking. Um, but it's done. It's up and it looks brilliant. Like it just makes the room look like a new room to me. It literally, I feel like it was meant to be here. Um, it just looks more finished. It just looks. I don't know, just better. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy with that. Um, so we just need to fill all of the gaps in and make it look seamless. Um, and then and then we should be all good with that. We're gonna start painting the skirting boards and all of like the white gloss areas because although we don't, I really don't wanna paint gloss, I really can't bother, but everywhere do you know when it's been it's been two years so it will be slightly yellow compared to like a new bit of gloss so i want it to be all fresh if we're doing it we may as well do it right i've put tape all around the carpet we've got this on the floor to protect it so we may as well just do it and then possibly maybe i don't know if we'll make a start on painting the ceiling in terms of the paint colors for the wall i really need your help guys i mean by the time this is up i may have decided on a color but please you can help me anyway. You can help me decide either way. Um, so I've put colours on the wall. Let me show you them. 
So these are the colours. Now, they look a little bit darker on my phone, but also... Oh, it ruins it when they look that dark on my phone. They're a lot lighter in person. So we've narrowed it down. We like that one and that one. These are all way too pink. And that one's too dark. These are by Valspar, if you like the colours, by the way, guys. If I said yesterday, if you're having a baby girl, although it's not showing up in, on the camera as well, if you're having a baby girl and you want a pink, but not too pink, not in your face, have, get puff pastry. Honestly, that's such a beautiful... If we ever have a baby girl, that colour will is definitely a contestant. Even the... Galadriel, 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 however you're saying it, that one's very pretty, it's got a very pink undertone, so, and speckled egg, you know, all of these would be a perfect baby girl's room colour, my phone's not showing it, it's, it's quite dark on my phone compared to what it looks like to my eyes, um, but we've narrowed it down to Paley Satin or Biscuit Crumbs, so I've put them there, Paley Satin, Biscuit Crumbs, Paley Satin, Biscuit Crumbs, that's what it looks like down there, where is it? Paid of satin biscuit crumbs. Then I've put it across here on the there. Paid of satin biscuit crumbs. And across here, paid of satin biscuit crumbs. Charles, like, what are you doing, Mom? Look at that judgment. You are such a judger. <laughs> you judge mummy. Why are you judging mummy? He's like, just come and sit with me, Mom stroke me i'm just not 100 percent sold i just don't know what do you think chai chai what should mommy do chai you being like sassy and ignoring me <laughs> hey what do you think biscuit do you know what we can do what could we do when we go to olivia what in cornwall what Mm. Lovely. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be nice. That's something you you can do it. I'll come and support you, darling. I'll, I'll, look, I'll support you. I'll be there. What golf clubs? What golf courses? <laughs> Me and Chai will be there like this. Chai will be able to come. <gasps> then I'll have to stay with Chai, darling. Won't I, really? Me and Chai will have a mummy daddy, um, mummy daddy, mummy Sunday out. Um, I'm going to hold these together like this. Okay. Everybody, how you catch? You ready? Yes. Can you do this one. Ready? Yes. <laughs> clever boy. He's a clever boy. Ready? You got this one. Starting board is going in. So Brad is just going around corking all of the coving and I am just going around sticking tape all above the skirting board so that we can go in with varnish um, and just so that the varnish don't get on the wall. Just so that there's less lines on the wall when we do go oh. to actually paint. Not varnish, gloss. They're both just as bad to dry anyway, aren't they? Um, but this is on now. So this just needs corking. Um, but we've got that there, so it's all coming together, guys. Can you believe it? So, yeah, I just need to put tape all around this area just to make sure it's all neat. And Chai's sat there being Chai. <laughs> just jump in. Oh, Lord. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you! Woo! Charles just wiped his nose on them. <laughs> Hopefully that comes off, you little bugger. It's for these lights here. So I'm going to put them on. Hopefully they suit the room and it looks good. I'm hoping it looks good. Hopefully I like them. And if not, send them back. We'll get different ones.
yeah they're super cute i really like them like i said i just need to change the bulbs in them because they are cold um and i really want warm white bulbs but i think that looks really cute i like it yeah does it look nice in the mirror yeah <laughs> i love it well i just made my new mirror and my lights Look at my home. I'm going to end this one here, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I really can't remember what I recorded the other day, so I don't know what you're getting. Obviously, I will when I'm editing, but hopefully it was okay for you. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're happy and healthy because you deserve to be. Um, and I hope you have a beautiful weekend. A beautiful... No, it'll be Tuesday. So I hope you have a beautiful week or whenever you're watching it. Beautiful day, beautiful evening. Um, and I shall see you next Tuesday. Bye.